everyone. How is everyone doing? Woo, it's Friday feedback show. Last week was really, really good fun. We had some great feedback from parents uh, and we decided to keep this thing going because we love it and we love receiving all your work. We're all very excited. I'm extremely excited. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with writing and we go down here to, to Miss Stray. There you go. <laughs> Friday feedback show. Okay, so I have had some amazing instructions sent to me this week, loads and loads, and it's actually really, really difficult to decide what to share with you. Um, but I've had a look through my folder and I've picked a few pieces that I really wanted to share that really, really impressed me. Okay, so this first one is instructions, how to do 100 amazing QPR. And this is exactly what I wanted when I set this task. I just wanted kids to write instructions for things that they've been doing at home, things that interest them. Um, and you can see that in some of the instructions I'll share. They're all completely different, um, which is amazing. I love the uh, rule of three for the rhetorical questions at the beginning. Amazing. And techers, brilliant bit of vocabulary there. <laughs> Love techers. Yeah, so I said to them, I was like trying to say in your introduction, it should be really engaging. So we were That's asking rhetorical that. questions, trying to get the reader's attention. So they've got those three questions. So your kick ups, not up to scratch. Are you admiring your friend's kick up techers, but yours is not as good? <laughs> your friends to admire your kick ups. So good. They've really got the audience. Really good. They know that they are writing these to other 10, 11 year olds, and that comes across in their language and everything about how it's written. Um, and that, that carries on throughout, really. So you can see um, we've got great. <laughs> expanded I like it. <laughs> I like it here in the method where they've put here. Don't try and get cocky by using all parts of your body. That's really good. <laughs> yeah. Keep it simple. Yeah. Keep it simple to start with. That's yeah. great. Perfect. Don't show yeah, A nice bit of parenthesis there, <laughs> adding that extra information. Um, yeah. You just see from that method that each step isn't really simple and basic. Like if you look at step four, um, there's such a lot written there, such a lot of detail about what, what to actually do. I love the use of language like you will use your buddy. Um, yeah. yeah. Also really good that, they, that they've got the right use of practicing with an S for the verb rather than practicing with a C for the noun. Tricky yeah, that. I, nice. I get that wrong sometimes yeah, when, me I, too. when I'm not paying enough attention. Yeah. The thing which I, I really love is the whole positivity throughout. And uh, the last bit is the top tip was, is fantastic. It's just loads of positives. So get your buddy to uh, say positive things to keep you motivated. And that's a really, really good thing to do when you're playing any sports uh, is positivity. And it gets you motivated and gets you going. Yeah, yeah really good. Yeah. Um, so just a massive well done to this child. Really impressive work. Yeah, uh, fabulous. Um, well Big done. Tick. So the next one completely different like I said they're all so different um is this one so beautiful presentation handwritten um and this was nice because we had a little bit of a conversation so they'd started off they were going to do how to make a cup of tea and I said that's a good idea but could you put a bit of a spin on it so that you can <laughs> use your imagination a bit more I love that they're doing it for a giant so you need an enormous mug, a giant spoon, you know, you need to be careful that you don't actually fall into that cup of tea. Um, I, I love the idea of 65 clean white. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's amazing. Like that so, like, if you're making That's a cup of tea amazing. for a giant, you need more than one kettle. And they like, better be clean. <laughs> and they better be white. I love it. <laughs> um, and again, and like with the last one, you can really see the influence of the model text. So you can see the children are reading everything that they're being sent and really thinking about how to use it. So you've started off, they've started off with that rhetorical question again. You are yeah, really nice. having a cup of tea you will need for a giant. 
Um, it's amazing. Now let's get brewing. It's got that engagement. Um, so I've just put on the first page of that and it, it carries on in that fantastic, clear, clear way. They've used great adverbials at the start, always remembering commas after those adverbial phrases, um, subordinating clauses, relative clauses. So really nice um, year six piece of writing. Yeah, lovely. Really good. I love that. Very impressive. Okay, right. The last one I want to share with you, they've put a different spin on it and they've actually written a set of instructions for staying safe. Oh, wow. Um, so obviously something that we're all thinking about so much and something this child has thought really carefully about how to, to write those instructions. But again, yeah. Really positive tone um, yeah. and really like they are writing to children their age giving them that advice so in the introduction you've got all these changes might make you feel scared or worried that's okay it's so yeah scary. you're like this so I'm reassuring situation as you are would you like to see my guide to covid19 i'll make it colorful I love the colourful thing with all the rainbows, the link to that at the moment is really lovely. Yeah. That's yeah. really clever. Absolutely yeah. amazing. There is four pages of this. <laughs> um, so we've got that first page and you can see the thought carefully about what pictures would go where to make it clear. Okay, and then it goes into the what to do section. Really yeah. clearly nice numbered steps. Um, Clearly written, really good. Loads and loads of great information as well. Um, so this will go up onto, they'll all go up onto the Dunkirk webpage, um, onto our class pages, so yeah. that you can take some time to, to read these, because actually there's just some really nice little tips in there. That's um, fantastic, I love that. Yeah, that's a, such a lovely thing to decide to do as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'd have loved that if I was at school during this. Well, I suppose I am in some ways at school during this and we're all trying to support each other in our own way. But if I was a school child and during this and one of my friends had written that, oh, it would make my heart sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really good. And it's lovely here just at the end. Be kind and support one yeah. another. And I think that is such an important message um, and so lovely just yeah. there at the end. Yeah, it's amazing. So, well really done. nice. I've just then added just a couple of examples of introductions that I've had, had through, just so you can see the amount of detail these children are writing in. Um, they're not just thinking, I'm gonna do something quickly to please my parents and my teacher. They're really thinking and putting in that effort. Taking some pride um, in their work still, it's lovely. Yeah, yeah lovely, loads, right, loads, okay. loads of pride. And also, I'm getting sent through loads of instructions for making things like Turkish pancakes. We've got donuts here down at the bottom. Yum. Yeah. Patties. <laughs> making me I'm hungry. Gonna <laughs> I was going to say. An amazing cook. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm looking forward to seeing some of your videos of you having a go at them, Miss Dre. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it would be great. Donuts next. <laughs> me covered in flour. <laughs> okay, yeah, so well done, guys. Your instructions are great. And if you... Um, finish them the start of next week just send them through whenever you finish them and i'd love to read them and share them amazing yeah. okay so well done mr i really love that that was excellent all the way down there i love it now we are going to go for reading <laughs> which is mr hall uh, so it is indeed this um, first slide is all the work of one particular young person who's really impressed me. They've done some brilliant vocabulary work. They've looked at understanding the grammatical structure of sentences to work out what word types certain words must be. They've written their own chronology questions, their own inference questions. Mm -hmm. They've um, put things into chronological orders. They've rewritten sections of texts for a different purpose or a different audience. It's just wow. been absolutely incredible. And even, wow, whilst we've, even whilst we've been doing this show, I know I've just been sent in an email with another bit of work. So here's a couple mm -hmm. of examples of some of the work they've done. And like I say, this first slide, this is all one person. So it just keeps coming and coming and coming. It's absolutely incredible. It's just My goodness. non-stop this week. 
Oh, um, wow. Oh, let me wow, see that a bit longer. So you can see we've, we've got that vocabulary work just like we're used to in school. We've had a go at um, trying to define what certain words mean. And you can see there that words like wrapped, they've worked out that that must come from the root word wrap, to wrap. Um, yeah. And that must therefore be a verb. They can work that out from where it falls in the sentence because it comes alongside those, well, comes after those nouns explaining what it is that they're doing. All that mm. sort of thing. It's just really, really impressive. Are you saying? Um, putting things in chronological orders and then reordering them so people can have a go at putting them back into the right order, writing their own inference questions. It's been absolutely incredible. Um, so well laid out, so organised with all the really, highlighting really and the structure. Mm. It looks fantastic. Yeah, absolutely incredible work. And um, I know this person's also been answering questions from the Nowhere Emporium videos that I've been sending out where I just throw out random offhand questions that I hadn't planned in advance, just sprung to <laughs> mind. Um, and they've been responding with emails answering those. Just, and is this uh, work that they've done on the Nowhere Emporium or is this um, on a book of their choice? So this choice? is on a book of their own choice, but I have had a lot of people oh, okay. as well sending in um, work from the Nowhere Emporium. And this person has also done bits from the Nowhere Emporium as well. In fact, this one here isn't, but that one with the chronology, that was from the Nowhere Emporium. So they've been mixing and matching depending on what suits best for what they think for that activity. Um, I've had so much this week. So this next slide, I'm not going to talk particularly in loads of detail about this slide. I just want everyone to get a bit of a chance to see some of their work. So there's loads that are going to come up. This is just sort of some examples of what I've had sent to me this week. Um, and I apologise for how quickly this is going to go through. But I've had so much sent that I, I, I could, it would take all day if I didn't go quite quickly. But do look out for, if you're watching this video, do look out for some of your work. You might see it pop up here. But there's just been an absolute wow. torrent wow, how of work brilliant. this week um, that's really, really impressed me. Everyone's become really engaged. Everyone's mm. really pulled it out of the bag this week with what they've been getting up to. But, I mean, it's just been... So Ooh, much work. Humbling. So lovely as well when you rec I feel like I'm recognising handwriting and going... Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, I know yeah. that one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it's just been amazing. And there's been some quite difficult tasks. I've left this one on the slide last because this was the most recent task. Well, not quite actually, because there's been obviously there's been a task today and I know I've already had some responses even whilst we've been talking, but this was yesterday's task. So they had to choose a section from their text. They had to firstly identify who they think the audience and what the purpose is for, for that part of the text. And then they had to rewrite it with a different audience and different purpose in mind. Mm. So oh, wow. they had to really carefully think about the language that's being used. They had to think about how to make that language. Most of them decided to go like I did in my tutorial with the idea of making it suitable for a younger audience. So they then had to think about how they could simplify the language, how they could simplify mm. the sentence structures to make it suitable for a younger audience. And that's Amazing, that's a, hard. It's a very mature yeah. approach to your writing to think not just about all of the rules of writing, but also how do I make this suit yeah, my audience? It. Yeah. So they really, wow. really good efforts made on that. Um, right, I'm going to just unplug because I think you can hear it better when I unplug my headphones. So, as well as having um, written work being sent in to me, I did set some of the children, well, I say all of the children, and some of them responded the task of recording themselves reading with all of those reading skills so these are just two examples i had sent in of children actually mm -hmm. reading out loud some of their work so have a listen Parrish yelped and tossed his chocolate ball into the air the other side of his arm swooped its neck and snapped the trunk to pieces with its teeth as it fell it longed for hamish snap snap snapping that's the first one henry be quiet said miss badenek say that is cancelled for everyone. Horrid Henry scowled. Why oh why did he have to come to school? Now, I don't know about you. Oh, that's so nice to hear their voices. Yeah, yeah. so nice. <laughs> I, I, look, I, I love it. And the thing is, I chose those two, not necessarily because what they sent in and how they read out loud is perfect, but because they're trying so hard. I know for a fact that both of these young people find it quite daunting to read aloud because English isn't their first language. I guarantee yeah. I couldn't read aloud any language that wasn't my first language. 
anywhere near as well as they managed to read that. But they're still doing it. They're having a go. They're being brave. And they're trying. Yeah, really and good. it really impressed me. And I know that. Yeah, people, it's fantastic. They're only going to go from strength to strength. Mm. And then, I really enjoyed the prosody in both both video clip, uh, both audio clips and the expression as well. Yeah, made me really the, engaged. Yeah, I was going to play yeah. you some slightly longer clips, but both of them suffered from what I'm sure that we've all noticed, <laughs> and that's the issue of background noise. One of, them is very <laughs> brief, one of them is very briefly upstaged by a younger sibling being quite <laughs> into the uh, whole recording. So I've left, I had to put him down quite a lot. They're both very, oh. very lovely though. They both read a whole chapter. So it's a very lovely Oh, wow. To wow. You. So I thoroughly enjoyed listening to those um, at home. And I'm just going to leave you with one last thing. Now this, um, this person's been working with some pupils actually from another school as well um, that he um, has been going in and out of and they've created a bit of a video and it's just sort of a nice uplifting video it's got a really potent metaphor so the metaphor that he's going for in this video is the idea of us all getting along and the the two things he chooses to describe this idea that we'd all should just get along is the idea that cats and dogs don't normally get along but if even cats and dogs can sometimes get along <laughs> get along uh, uh, they've made their own song so they wrote the words for this song they played the instruments themselves they did everything themselves so it's him and a girl from another school doing this uh, little song uh, it's not the whole thing but it's enough that it'll get stuck in your head just like it has mine <laughs> they made the animation as well <laughs> Amazing. So, okay. Thank you so much, <laughs> Mr. Hall. That was amazing. amazing. I loved seeing all of that work. Now we're off to the next one, the penultimate teacher. It is the wonderful Miss Lodge Yay! down here. Down here. Down here we go. So first of all, I wanted to show some of the fluency. Now I did it this week that I sent out some fluency, a little bit like this one on this side where it starts number one, 68 times seven. Uh, yeah. And I sent two sets out, one that was more, maybe more year five level, one that was year six, but people could mm -hmm. have a choose. Mm. So I sent this out on a Monday, people had a go and marked it with their answers. And then I showed a video on the Tuesday, how they could get like an online dice or something to maybe make their new numbers. Oh, and then this great. one that's covered Good idea. on the, and then for the rest of the week, they're having a go at generating similar style questions changing the numbers and digits around to have a bit of practice and I loved this one on the right because this is a good example of where they then change the numbers using their dice or whatever they were using um, and this I've just had again so much work that I found it really difficult to choose I could have been here all day I've had so much work sent back so what I've done this is a bit of the example of the fluency and then this next one I just loved this because you can see here it says flashback on both pieces of work. Now on the White Rose Maths, they give a little video and you start off, you listen to the video. The first thing they do is a flashback, which is almost like a recap from the previous day. Wow. And I, it was just really nice to see that everybody has been having a go at these flashbacks and then marking it so that they can see, oh yeah, I've got that from yesterday, got that right. And so many people have been showing that they've done that bit, which really helps to let us know that they've, you know, been doing and watching the videos. Yeah, it's incredible because that 
all that work is just going over all those things yeah. that we've yeah. done for and so useful. Yeah. Well, I've seen already you've got some squared numbers, adding fractions, division, Absolutely. addition. Yeah. So just, just consolidating, yeah. isn't it? All yeah. of the skills from school, which is really, really good. useful. And actually, they're, they're quite big, the units. And, you know, I feel like I have been giving a lot, not expecting everybody necessarily to do everything, but I'm so pleased to see that most people are sending in fluency, and then white rose maths are still doing the flashbacks um, as on top of that, which is quite, you know, a lot of work. And then this person here that sent in this piece of work where you can see all their white rose work as well. Again, they've gone through, they've marked it all because on there you can have the answers. So once you've finished, they've had a good old look to see what they've done, what they've got right or wrong. Yeah, which is great. Great. It's useful too, isn't it? Being able to do that self-marking allows them to see where their errors yes. are and also allows you to yeah. really straight away be able to home in to help them with areas they're struggling with. So yeah, absolutely. Through. No, it's really good. The thing, so that's thing which the thing which I really like with the, what the previous one is, is the FA, which is a yes. final answer. Yeah. And I, yeah. I, I like to teach that in, in my class. And yeah, it's nice to see that that's stuck. Yeah. And they're still Definitely. applying things that we teach in class. And they're still yeah. applying it at home. That's excellent yeah. practice. Yeah. And actually, everybody's presentation is immaculate. I can't believe how beautiful everyone's <laughs> thinking. You know, they're not just rushing through it. They're really thinking about it. This one I put on just as a little example. Oh, golly, that's whizzed through, sorry. Um, <laughs> just to see what it looks like on the, to sort of show the previous one here. This is it, you know, obviously writing them out onto a piece of paper. And uh, here people yeah. have printed it. This is what the activity looked like online. Yeah. Um, yeah. And again, they've gone back, they've marked it and had a look at what, what they've done. Um, now, this one I put on because I... You can't, it's a bit blurry on here, but if you look at question four, it says a bit lower down on the question, talk to a partner about Teddy's mistake. And I was really pleased to see that this person has actually written what the mistake is because they can't talk yeah. to the partner. But yeah. I can see that they've got that mistake mm -hmm. right and they've written it down and they've proved it with their own calculation. They fixed the error, um, which was really lovely to see that they're not just thinking, oh, well, I can't do that. I can do it, I can adapt it and do it in a different way, which was lovely. Yeah, um, put this one on, this person has sent me so much maths, like I got an email the other day that was just reams of it and beautifully <laughs> done. And I was so chuffed to see that they're using all the methods that we've learnt in class. This person's in my maths group and she's used all the way of, of representing the ones, the tenths and the hundredths to help them with their column edition they've written it all out and I just thought that was lovely to see that yeah just, that's great well, that was really brilliant clear. you know so remembering impressive. all those bits that we've learned to help and then I think this is my last one because I loved this so what I wanted to show here was that this person that's sending me the maths you can see at the top left hand corner they've just done they've highlighted B and so what the parents been doing is this is the work that they've done They've then gone through, they've marked it with the mark scheme that's on the white rose. And then they've said, this is Lodge, these are the bits that are highlighted that so-and-so is a bit stuck with. So I know to look through, I can then go on to, at the beginning, they've put the date, they've put the unit, and I've then been able to email and say, this is how you can have a go at answering Oh, that. wow. Yeah, that's, Which is that's so perfect. brilliant. That's yeah, perfect. really good way because they've had a go at marking, they're a bit stuck. And then I've gone back in and helped. So I really actually, would you know, want. If you're just sent everything, you're probably not going to be able to home in on the areas where they need the support. Whereas no. if it's high, no. if it's really shown to you like that, and that's the bit that they focus yeah. you in on, yeah. then you can help mm -hmm. properly. Yeah, and it's good to be able to take the time on just helping with the. You know, if they know the rest are right, it sort of doesn't mean I need to go through and mark again. Mm -hmm. I can yeah. just see there the correct bits and can help. Yeah. So yeah, yeah just. Wow. Wonderful, Incredible. so much brilliant work. So Aww. thank you, really, really good. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Lodge. <laughs> this was wonderful. Absolutely love all the maths work that I've been sending. I in. like that Mr. Evans has gone into his quiz show host. He has. It's great. I, I love being a host. This is mode. I'm in my element right now. This is great. Oh, okay, <laughs> so there's the last teacher. And that is the ever so energised <laughs> Mr. Evans. Woo! I can't remember which one is. Yeah, yeah, spot on. Woo! So, okay, so 
I am going to start off with this piece of work. This is a wonderful poster that wow. has been sent in. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I uh, uh, I haven't Amazing. scribbled out the name, but I'm sure Mr. Hall will scribble out the name. Um, scribble out the name. But oh, yeah. <laughs> it is it is brilliant. It is absolutely fantastic. It's a mixture of. Uh, everything about William Shakespeare. So we've got mm. dates of when he was born, when he passed away, where he was born, um, or where, where he was born and where he passed away. It's got some famous lines. It's got about his sonnets, about his um, I like his that they plays. put a sonnet on because that's yeah. what they'd given them to look at. Yes, yeah, yeah. And, and it's just, you know what? I, I, was, I was absolutely blown away. I've been blown away plenty of times this uh this mm. <laughs> this this week alone uh the next one is another poster Woo! Wow. look at this uh, look at this fantastic it is That's a poster amazing. so i was sent about four pictures of this poster in detail wow. so they, they've like sectioned it off but what i thought was I'll just have it like this my favorite picture is uh william shakespeare with some sunglasses with yeah, I know that one. cool yeah. dude did not know they were invented in the 16th century. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Who knew? You know what? Very creative. Um, but yeah, just look how colourful it is. And th this is this is this is what made me happy is that I gave them uh, an opportunity to just. I gave them their creative opportunity. I didn't say you yeah. need to have it like this. I just said it needs to be informative, and you do the rest. And they've made yeah. it extremely informative. And they've done the rest. They've made it. They've done it in their and own way, which I absolutely love. really loved. enjoy doing that piece of work as well. Like, yeah, just amazing. Me, you want to go and do one? Oh, it's exciting. It's, it's absolutely exciting. I'm trying to read uh, it next to it. Oh, it's just, it's, it's just so much. It's yeah, so it's good. Incredible. Absolutely love you. Um, the next bit is uh, I set one of the tasks was like a non-chronological report and they've done it. They've done three different sections. They've spoken about William Shakespeare uh, and who he is and what his achievements are. They've given some personal facts of where he was born and uh, baptized and where he died and everything like that. Uh, mm. And then, he's, then they've gone into detail about his family. Very well presented. Absolutely incredible. Uh, I am extremely impressed by this. Yeah, so... And I have now, I'm going to briefly go over some, um, some PowerPoints. I have had lots and lots of PowerPoints. So I'll just show a slide per PowerPoint, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is about the Globe Theatre and they've done it uh, in their own words to a certain extent. They've reworded some things in it, which is really, really good. And they've shown pictures of it. Which and I know you excellent. sent out a um, virtual tour that children can do of the Globe Theatre as well, didn't you? So they can really well, yeah. actually like feel like they get in there. And it is absolutely fantastic. It is. That tour is really, really, really good. It's great. Mm -hmm. um, and so the next one, we've got another one. Um, and that's just lots and lots of pictures talking about comedies. Talk, there's another one. If you can see in the corner, there's talking about their comedies, talking about histories. But this is a, this is about their life. Just very well presented. They've yeah, used really, all the really they've well used done. some features really yeah. on this, they which is excellent. About um, making it look quite Shakespearean. Oh, we've lost Mrs. Lodge. Yeah, she's yeah, mess that, she's messaging okay. saying that her internet's um, kicked her out. Unfortunately, um, that's okay. <laughs> so we've got uh, this one. It, this was put in a presentation, but it's uh, it's their poster. But lots of facts, lots of fun facts. Um, <laughs> Uh, and uh, it's just, yeah, just great. It's very detailed. It's really good. Just reading about his son. That was sad. Yeah. I oh, know. Yeah. It is extreme. That is very sad. He didn't uh, have a lot of then, luck, really, in a lot of ways. No. And then and this is the last one. This is just very good. Very, very informative. Um, Shakespeare, the playwright. Yeah. Just. It, yeah. th this fact, I found this one really interesting was the. Uh, the fact that in the mid uh, 1580s, it was thought that William arrived in London. Uh, he worked as a horse attendant in some London theatres. And by 1592, he was earning money as an actor and as a playwright. 
that is fantastic for me. Yeah, he was earning amazing. money as an actor and a playwright. So he was very, very, cre- very, very creative about, mm-hmm. uh, in those days. And then I've got one more very quickly, very nicely presented. Uh, here's got Shakespeare's uh, house, okay. which I remember going to in year four. And I remember how wonderful this house was. And I just remember how low it was, but I could fit through all the low beams. But <laughs> I realized if I go there now, you do that now. No, not I time. would not be able to do that. So I mean, you had them all. Yeah. yeah, that is it. That's me. So uh, That's how do I, I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I just realized we've only got about two minutes left on this. I, know. I just want to say thank you so much. <laughs> this is been wonderful it is one of the one things that i really look forward to Highlights every single week, week. yeah i get yeah. extremely excited and i hope i show this excitement oh, wonderful i think you probably do i'm, I'm, yeah. looking, I'm yeah, looking i'm getting in there i'm looking forward to cutting down this 48 minute meeting to 20 <laughs> minute youtube clip <laughs> anyway <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much, everybody who sent stuff in. Um, by the time yeah, you see this, you. it might hopefully be a lot shorter. Um, sorry that we lost Miss Lodge. She has messaged just to say that she's been hugely impressed with all of your work, um, but her internet had different ideas. So she's sorry she disappeared. <laughs> she did, you noticed, she did try and come back in, um, but unfortunately she didn't quite make it. But she is, in fact, we might just about get her in just in time. She's just trying to get back in. She might just get in before there's one minute gone. It's Ooh, just less cool. than a minute. Just say bye. Just, bye. Just, bye. Just, bye. Just, just in time, say bye. Bye. Oh, oh, so oh, 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 we got oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye from Miss Lodge oh, and from oh. Billy. Bye. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs>